I am. Uh, I continue to feel unsettled about what happened in this chamber last night. I think many of us are feeling the same way. The Prime Minister's actions were disappointing. They were shocking. They were unprecedented. And we've said it, many of us here this morning, but again, in no workplace would swearing or grabbing of colleagues, male or female, be allowed. Um, it shouldn't have happened. The What I think we often see in social media and just in conversations around the country is uh, a, an attempt to uh, justify um, uh, what is unjustifiable often. This happens in domestic violence all the time. I'm not saying that what happened on the floor here today was domestic violence. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I want to be really clear on that. But when we do see people weighing in, trying to justify the unjustifiable, that is a sign to me that we've got a lot of work to do in our country about workplace violence, about violence in our lives generally. And that is why I'm so proud that our Status of Women Committee has uh, violence against young women and girls as a high priority. A number of members in the House here are part of that committee. It's why I'm so pleased that New Democrats have led on a, a commitment uh, working with uh, non-governmental organizations and the labor movement to establish a uh, national uh, violence against women strategy. Um, and I'm very glad to see the government has a commitment to that also. But it especially says why it's so important for the leaders in this House and the Prime Minister more than anybody to set the tone and to never have there be any room to blame victims of violence in any form. You're quite right. What happened in the House last night was 100% because of the actions of the Prime Minister. He chose to stride across the aisle. He chose to swear at his uh, members across the aisle. He chose to grab and intervene physically. Um, there's no excuse for that. And uh, I am very interested to see what actions the Prime Minister will take to uh, go beyond simply I'm sorry, because that was inexcusable what happened. Yeah.